Success, they say, travels in the company of hard work. There is no trick or elevator to it. You have to take the stairs. And that is why I'll be speaking on shortcuts to Nevada. It is real, the message says. I invested 100,000 naira, and in two hours, I received 300,000 naira. Hey, it's my alert. This is followed by a snapshot of a credit alert showing the account details of the beneficiary and the amount. The modus operandi of the people behind this scam is to broadcast the message to as many people as possible with the hope that maybe out of a hundred, there will be one greedy one who wants to triple an investment in two hours with no downside. To enhance their chances at making a hit, they hack into people's social media accounts, take over their identity, and broadcast a scam message to all the contacts on the hacked account. This does two things. One, they have a large reach by virtue of being able to send a scam message to an entire contact list. While they also buy some credibility for their message because the message is emanating from someone the contacts know, having stolen his or her identity. Sometimes one wonders why people are so desperate to make money without working. Why would someone believe that there's a business somewhere that triples an investment in two hours? If that is so, why do the rest of us wake up in the morning and hit the roads then? when we can simply put money in those investments and be tripling it every two hours. What should have been the underlying trick? MMM was just a few years ago, and the website was a notification that said, the only rule is no rules. Win might not be paid without any reasons or explanations. So how did an investor get comfortable with that? MMM started in Russia in the 1990s. It collapsed a few years after, after losing an estimated $100 million belonging to its members. The Russian government outlawed the scheme. The founder was jailed for four years. But despite this murky history, MMM thrived in Nigeria. And some of the victims were educated citizens, in spite of government warning. Maybe we just don't trust government enough. It is embarrassing to know that there were religious houses that organized seminars for their members to guide them into investing in MMM. I still wonder how leaders and members of such institutions handled the fallout when the chicken finally came home to roost. Here is the reality. It is not just the scammers that are thieves. An investing citizen who wants to triple an investment in two hours also has a character flaw. It just hasn't been told by someone who is nice enough. I would like to advocate that we take a multifaceted approach to citizens' education on all these scams and Ponzi schemes, so that when people walk into them, they do so with their eyes open. And in a society where people don't trust government that much, then that education must come from all levels of leadership. There is no investment on earth that triples every two hours. It is a scam. Don't be caught now.